What's up, and it's your friend, neighborhood and Auntie. Welcome back to a game for another reaction video. I lied, it's not a reaction video. It's my annual prediction video for the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Today is the last day to vote, so I figured why not share with y'all. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. All right, so we, they starting off with anime of the year. We gonna go from the bottom. Say that one for last. Vote for the best film. We got Bell, never seen it. <laughs> Evangelion, never seen it. Demon Slayer, I read it. Uh, Josie the Tiger and the Fish, never heard of it. Don't even want to say that. Words bubble up like us. I won't even watch no shit like that. It's clearly Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer has been like the biggest hit of the year. Jujutsu Kaisen, it might be the biggest hit of this year if One Piece Red doesn't come out. But like, Jujutsu Kaisen, it's not going to, I'm, I'm telling you now, it's not going to hit the same as Demon Slayer. So we're just going to go ahead and vote Demon I don't even know why I brought it up. It's not on the board. Confirm it. Best Fantasy. We're going to move right along through this. We got Mushoku. Oh, Mushoku no tent. Mushoku get it. I said no Tensei. But Shoku Tensei, it gets it, bro. Rank, oh. Ranking of Kings. Bro, Usama ranking, y'all know. Y'all know that that's my show. It is a masterpiece and then some. I'm going to have to. That, that time I got reincarnated, ah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a solid show. The case, uh, I don't know. Two Year Eternity, I never watched that. And One Egg Priority, I never watched that either. They're on my list. The, the thing about being um, a small YouTuber, content creator, it's like you gotta you gotta decipher which shows you want to bring to the channel, and it's it's basically you know throwing darts in the dark, bro. Like I don't know which show was gonna blow for me, which show was gonna carry my channel. A few years ago it was Tower of God, uh, then it was Invincible, and then it was um, Tokyo Avengers. I never know what's gonna hit. I never know what's gonna give me the views. So some things it's like ah, I kind of want to watch this on my own, and then I kind of want to bring it to the channel. So you just you just pick and choose, and you just hope for the best. Cause you don't want to react to everything. You don't want to bring it all on the channel. I don't know why I'm explaining this right now, <laughs> but you don't want to bring it all on the channel because then it starts to feel like work and you don't get to enjoy the anime for what it is. But I must say Usama ranking. I'm sorry, Mushoku. I love you. Gislaine is my second favorite wife, but she just do things to me with that rock hard ass, bro. Right? Let me calm down. <laughs> but Usama got it. Usama's literally a fairy tale. It's literally a realistic approach to a fairy tale in anime form. I said in a few videos back in one of my reactions, Usama ranking is very it's um it's very dark for like the type of art style that it has. And it's basically mimicking actual fairy tale stories because in the past, in the 1800s, when they wrote um Snow Snowbell, Sleeping Beauty. Pinocchio, all them shits, bro. All them shits is very dark, bro. Pinocchio out here killing crickets uh, <laughs> for fun. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, we ain't gonna talk about her, but she woke up with kids. That's all I'ma say. And then Cinderella, she been getting her shit chopped off. It's, it's just crazy. So I'ma, I'ma choose Breaking the Kings. Breaking the Kings. Oh, boom. That was a long ass response for just that one, that one section. But we are gonna keep it moving. Best Romance, B Stars. That's gotta be a front runner. Fruit Baskets, never seen it. Don't talk to me. I wanted to watch this show, but I watched the trailer and it looked like she just annoyed this nigga. And I felt like I was gonna get, I felt like I was gonna get pissed off, bro. Like I just hate annoying niggas, bro. So nah, I, I didn't watch that show, but it, it, that, that trailer did it for me. Remember, I didn't watch it. Call me can't communicate. That's on the list as well. The dude and uh, B Stars wins. B Stars. B Stars got Juno, bro. They, they got Juno and a stripper cheetah. Enough said. <laughs> Vote. <laughs> Confirm. Moving on. Moving on. Best drama. Let's see. Let's see. 80s, oh, I meant though, that's one of the list as well. Fruits Basket, Odd Taxi, Wonder Egg, Two Your Turns. This ain't really me. I can't really vote. My friend, my friend also does um, YouTube. Shout out Yosemite Sams. And she did like an overall video on Two Your Eternity. It sounds kind of crazy, but like this shit is, it sounded kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, I had it on the background while I was editing. And it, she kind of spoiled it for me, but I'm gonna just pick this one just because I know more about this than Wonder Egg. But I'm assuming Wonder Egg or 86 probably, oh, maybe Odd Taxi has it. I've been hearing good things about those. Vote, confirm. Best comedy. Don't fuck the <laughs> Fuck Nagatoro, I don't care. Heaven's design team, don't care. Call me, communicate, no left. Okay, so this ain't me either. Oh, Miss Kobe, I'm gonna I'm pick this one. I'm gonna pick this one, because for whatever reason, my homie Mark uh, puts me on to like different clips of this show. Shout out to him. And like, I thought this show was like a slice of life, but they be turning it up. <laughs> they be turning it up with the animations, with the fight scenes. And so just for that, it's a it's a comedy to me, bro. Cause like, how can you take yourself so seriously in these fight scenes, but then the rest of the show is just like adorable. So that, vote, confirm, it got it. Best action, here we go. I'm my bad for the, if the clap was loud. Here we go, bro. I'm the show tard, the shonen whore. Let's go. <laughs> 
I don't actually call myself a Shota. I am a Shonen Horror, though. Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1. That is up there. Demon Slayer. Moving Mub Train Art? <sighs> That's a no for me. That's a no. Because majority of the action happens at the end. Like, that whole movie was... Niggas, niggas were asleep that whole movie. <laughs> Let's be honest here. They were asleep that whole movie. Uh, it was very peaceful with uh, Tanjiro's dream. It was it was sad and whatnot. The train demon, he was cool. He had the drip. And then Akasa. Everybody loves Akasa. But like, that was at the end. And then they, they took my boy away from me. So <laughs> they, get, they get minus points for that. Jujutsu Kaisen, second core. What happened in the second core? Uh, Hanami happened. Toji and Itadori happened. Um, Chimera, the Chimera move from uh, what's his name? I think I forgot his name. Fushiguro. Yeah, they snapped. Nob Nobara and Itadori both got the black flash, and yeah, they kind of snapped in the second core. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised I remember that because I have terrible memory. Vivi, Vivi has some tough. They have some raw scenes in that show. I'm not gonna lie. So it's not an Attack on Titans and Juju for me though. What happened in the first season? Uh Sasha, Sasha took the L. Bro, that's crazy, bro. I hate Gabby. I'm not giving, I'm not helping Attack on Titan on this one. <laughs> Fuck Gabby, bro. Vote confirm. I'm not helping her out. out. I'm not helping her out at all. I, I can't talk right now. But no, no, no. I, I think I, I think I picked too, too quickly on that one. But whatever. Vote for best ending sequence. Mmm. I'm not gonna lie. So Gabby got it. I didn't even finish this season. Never watch. Never watch. Never watch. Oh, Skate. Skate's kind of cool though. And then Lisa. Mm, nope, nope. Show that keep right. That song when the freaking bird transform into the world tree, that was so fire, bro. Go back and watch my reaction for part one. I literally end every single episode vibing out to that song. It's on my phone, it's on my playlist. It gets the vote. It gets the vote. Confirm. Best opening sequence. That's Juju. That gotta be Juju. Yup. Wait, nope, nope. I'm not. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. View advice. I like that. I like everyone looking at everything else. Juju got that. Both they both their openings was fire to me, in my opinion. Um, they lucky. Uh, what are, they lucky Osama ranking ain't on that because I would have picked that too. I would <laughs> I would have picked that best VA performance English. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna skip this one because I don't even watch dub. No offense to you. I'm not judging. However you choose to watch your anime, that's on you. That's it's your life to live. I can't tell you how to do it. But I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. I'm gonna go ahead. And, matter of fact, no, I lied. Anaris. I don't know how to say her name, but I actually know her. She's the voice actor for, um, I don't know her, I don't know her personally, I know of her. But she's the voice actor for Mirko, and I support Mirko. Mirko's like my, she's my number one waifu. Matter of fact, hold on. Y'all see my baby. Y'all see her. Can you, can you see her? Is she, is she there? This is ah, the love of my life. The love of my life, bruh. Number one, my number one waifu. So yeah, she gets the, she gets my pick, she gets my pick. Best VA performance Japanese. That's Aaron off rip. Gabby, fuck Gabby. Uh, <laughs> Lupin the third. They got a, a part six. Dang, I used to love Lupin when I was growing up, bro. That was my that was my weekly morning show before school. And I'm looking at everybody else. Aaron Yeager. Come on, Yugi. And he's the voice in Dida and Usama Rankin. He got it. He got it easy for me. Got it easy for me. Everybody recognizes his screen. Best score. I'm not gonna lie. I do love Mega Low Box. I do love it. I do love the VVs from the soundtracks. The, the couple clips I've been hearing has been popping. But I'ma go Demon Slayer. Cause that's the main one I watched on this whole list. I'm not gonna lie to you. Confirm. Not gonna lie to you. I gotta I gotta watch more, bro. My list is too long. It's getting ridiculous. Best character design, I'ma go Juju. Just off the top of my uh top of my dome. Skates, eh. It's kinda it just dress weird. I text never seen. Wonder Egg never seen. VV, I've seen clips. They look regular to me. Ranking of Kings. Mmm. Y'all know I'm a whore for ranking the Kings, bro. I am a stand for Usama ranking, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. But if we be a, ah. And in that world, there's so many weird characters. You gotta. King Dasher literally walks around with a pencil in his mouth, bro. Come on. And then the little muffin top bottoms that they all be wearing, that shit weird. On is hot. Freaking Dorsh is cool as hell. Uh, Dorsha, you got a two headed snake that always gets beat up. It just, they got ogres in that world, orcs, giants. They got a lot of characters in that world, right? But a lot of them are things that we've already seen. I like Jujutsu Kaisen. I like the curses. But 
all the curses have cool ass designs. Literally at the end of the season, when you had the three brothers, you had one that looked like a go-go dancer, the stripper nigga, <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit sassy, he had his ass cheeks out. You had him, you had the, uh, the unshapely one that just didn't have a, a, a humanoid body at all. And then you had the, you had old boy at the end, I ain't gonna spoil his name, but you had old boy at the end that was chilling with, um, dang, I forgot, Mojito, Margarita. I was chilling with Margarita and old boy with the scar, I forgot his name too. That, that's also the third brother and right, he's dope. He's dope as well. They, they just got the designs, plus they, they're inspired by Bleach. So just a guy that gets it. I love Bleach, I'm watching it right now. I'm almost finished, I'm almost finished. Best animation, mm, you're foldable. Jujutsu Kaisen, it's top tier, it's Mappa. I love Mappa, but I'm, I'm, I, I will put I will put UFO, what is it, UFO table? That's how you actually pronounce it? I will put UFO table over Mappa. I'm not gonna lie. But Mappa been put, Mappa been working their asses off. I'm not, like I feel like these niggas ain't got a break yet, bro. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Miss Kobayashi, that's, a, that's actually, that's actually a really cool show. Mushoku's actually a really cool show. I like it. I like it a lot. VV's, that's a clean, it's a clean, solid show. And Wonder Egg, I've seen some clips, thanks to my homie Mark, I've seen some clips, and it's kind of solid too. It, it has a, like a realistic approach. I've seen some water drop shit going on. I'm like, yo, that's, that's a puddle on my sink right now. So like, uh, you full table. I'm not gonna lie, you full table. You see what they putting out right now? Shit look like a movie, and it's a season. And I was one, I was one saying like, yo, this should have been a movie. I'm not gonna lie, moving train, it's all right, but like, nigga, the red light district, the entertainment district art, this shit should have been a movie. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna just go ahead and click uh, Demon Slayer. We're gonna vote and we're gonna confirm on that one. <laughs> Best director, Attack on Titan. Uh, I love Sung Yu Park. You're cool. Sung Yu, hey, that's the dude from uh, Squid Games. <laughs> that's a selfish dude, but he was killing everybody. Uh, I love Megalo Box. I do, I do. I never heard of Sunny Boy. One of the odd taxes. These are shows. I need to watch odd taxes. But uh, Attack on Titans got it, bro. <sighs> the latest episode was literally a dream, bro. It was a chaotic, unsettling, horrific dream, bro. This nigga Aaron got his shit clapped. Freaking uh, Zeke got his shit clapped. Both the brothers got a. They got a cap busting their ass, bro, for the brothers, bro. They both got knocked back, bro, with the full five. I'm trying to tell you, bro, Zeke, Zeke got knocked. Zeke's whole back was blown out, bro, like he was on the episode of Black. Come on, now. Come on, Aaron. Look at your head was spinning like a hula hoop, but it wasn't attached to your body. Freaking Gabby got the face. She got aim assist turned to the maximum. All her sliders are up, bro. Face Gabby in the building. Who keeps giving her guns? I Let me calm down. That whole scene though, where they did the, the the slow motion, or like, as a matter of fact, it was a still. They did the still, and they had the camera rotation zooming around Aaron's headless body as the blood was splurting all over the place. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. All the depths in the show was graphic. I love it. It's gory. Direction, bro. They got a lot of scenes where there's no music playing, just like Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer's been killing it. I'm not gonna lie. They've been killing the musical score this season. But they had some scenes where like there's nothing playing and then boom the music rises as the freaking air bumps is exploding and dropping bombs and titans the, the, the Zeke yell I'm getting turned on I'm getting turned on vote confirm best director bruh they got it they got the best fight scene that's that's going Juju's up there Juju's up there what's this right here this is supposed to be a video playing they don't have a video playing I just realized that they had videos last year Aaron Yeager versus Warhammer Titan eh. It was cool, but nah. Naruto Usumaki versus that one. I never, I didn't even watch that full fight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I saw, I saw Naruto get punched and got sent flying. But I think that was before the Baryon mode. But I, I don't, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't watch Boruto. That's something I'm gonna read. I'm, I don't really plan on watching it anytime soon. Not to hate on Boruto, just I'm just not interested right now. Yuji Itadori versus oh Yu Itadori and uh, Tato versus Hanami. That might be up there, B. That might be my pick. When they, when he was clapping, <laughs> when Toto was clapping, bro, and Itadori was hitting him with the multiple black flashes, but they was fucking hotting me up. And then hotting me, she started, uh, uh, he, my bad, he just, he just got a light voice. He started waking up and he started becoming the curse that he was truly meant to be. Fuck that earth shit. I'm not a hippie no more, nigga. I'm out for blood, bro. When Hanami was waking up and that. 
the rose, the flower thing opened up on him, bro. He was about to kill, bro. He was ready. He was ready. That that's probably gonna get my pick. UG and uh, Nobara. This is this is a scene I was talking about with uh, when they both did the um the Black Flash, the Black Fist, Black Flash, Black Flash, and uh, yeah earlier. I'm uh that, that was a cool fight. I'm not gonna lie, that was a cool fight. But it just don't hit like the Toto. Alma and Toto. This one, I'm not gonna lie. This fight was crazy. Mark sent me the clip for this one. This shit, I was like, yo. Matter of fact, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up real quick. Mm. Look at this, bro. Look how fluid this shit is. See, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty cool, but it's it's total. It's total. This one, this one was great, but it's total. It's Toto and Itadori for me. Yuji, Itadori. Confirm. Perfect. 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 Best antagonist, Gabby. Gabby gotta be on here. If Gabby ain't on here, bro, <laughs> I, I rage. Where is she? God. Yaren? I mean, I say Yaren. Aaron Yeager? Nope. Nope. I'm team Aaron, bro. I'm team Aaron. I'm on his side 100%. Even if, whether you want to euthanize these niggas or not, or just set the rumble I was gonna be on his side regardless. Call me Flock, bro. <laughs> that, was, that was me. Whatever that nigga say, that's where I go. Tomura, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even watch the season of My Hero. I'm not, I'm so past the anime now with the manga, I don't even care what the anime's at. I never watched Odd Taxi. This dude just weird. A kid, <sighs> the vomit vigilante, bro. A kidna? I'm sorry, bro, but you gross. He goes, my whole love for you, she, she was a top tier waifu for me, bro. I just, I just love something about it. Something about it that just do something for me. But like, ever since I saw her swallow that vomit <laughs> from Rockwell, and I, that shit is, she just disgusted me now. Kasaki, goddamn Teta. That's my vote. That's my, yo. In the show, I'm not gonna spoil it for those who haven't seen Tokyo Avengers, but like, yo, it's a great show. Go ahead and watch it. It's like ReZero meets Street Games, bro. ReZero with games. Watch that shit, bro. This nigga is a fucked up individual. I don't know what's inside of Kasaki's head and his temple, but it is it, desecrated. Nothing's there. The brain is just dark. It's just a black ball of abyss and mass just sitting housed inside his cranium, nigga. This dude is so disgustingly cruel. I can't stand him, but I love him at the same time. I'm a big Kasaki stand. I'm not gonna lie, the nigga's hot. But <laughs> But the dude, he, this boy is the devil incarnate. I think I figured out, I'm still not caught up in the manga, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I stopped at around 180 chapters, 170, 70. So I'm not, I'm not caught up yet. But like, it's a grimy ass dude, bro. I don't want to spoil anything, but this is, this nigga got a lot of hatred in his heart. He's gotta be the best antagonist. If he don't get, if he don't win this one, everything else, my predictions, I'm okay if I'm wrong with some of them, but like this one got a hit. This is 100% right. If anybody picks Aaron, it's popularity contest, bro. This nigga Kasaki is literally the devil. He's literally the devil. I don't care about nobody else, bro. That nigga needs to be stopped. Put him down. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta put him down. I got everything else. I do, I do. Best protagonist, yeah, Team Aaron, bro. I like Joe. Joe's cool. Joe's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Boji, Yuji. Y'all making this hard for me. I seen this dude. I didn't know he was a protagonist of the show. I thought he was like a side character. And I, all I know about her is that she, <laughs> all I know about her is that she wears the yellow fit, the raincoat. But Boji, Aaron, and Yuji, oh. I might have to come back to this. I'm not gonna lie. Out of the three, Yuji's three. Boji and Aaron, they're tied for me right now. Cause I just want Aaron I just want, matter of fact, I want Boji. I want Boji to win so bad. And right now, currently in the show, my man is winning and I love it. I love it for him. But right now with Aaron though, Aaron just did a whole 180 reveal. We all thought this nigga was going crazy. He talked shit about Mikasa. He was talking shit about Armin. Um, and, and then he was talking about euthanizing niggas. Come on, bro, Aaron. But then he flipped the script. This nigga was really on our side the whole time. We gonna scare the world with the rumbling year after year. I can't do it. I can't kill kids. Zeke could kill kids. But I, matter of fact, Zeke should have been on the antagonist list. I can't kill kids though. That what Aaron said about the reveal. I might have to give it to him because right now Boji's already winning. And Aaron, I don't know where his story is going, but I want him to win. So I'm gonna pick Aaron on this one, bro. I want, I want Aaron to win. I'm not gonna lie to you, Team Jaeger. Best girl. Let's see who we got. I seen her before. She reminds me of Esdef. 
Uh, just by the design. I don't know anything about personality because I haven't watched the show yet. Nobara, I like Nobara. She's uh, she's different from the typical anime um anime girl in Shonen. Uh, Komi, Komi can't talk, right? <laughs> it's right there. The title. Komi can't communicate. Uh, let's see. And okay, so yeah, so Nobara's gonna get my pick just because she's different from the typical Shonen girl. She's not weak, she's not helpless, she's not defenseless. She can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. She actually thinks ahead. And then she just lives life, bro. She lives life for me. She's, she's the most realistic character in that show because she's just like, hey, I only care about the niggas that sitting at my table. Everybody else, don't give a fuck about. That's what she, that's what she said to Yuji. That's what she said to Yuji in the woods, bro. And I, re I relate to that. I, I only care about my circle. And, and even then, in my circle, I don't even care what they got going on. <laughs> like, like, half the stuff they tell me, and what in, out the other, bro. Like, I'm I mind my business. I live my life, I mind my business, and that's with no bro. But she's a powerful woman. She doesn't feel the need to be a dainty, pretty woman like Momo was trying to convince her to be. She was like, bitch, I'm strong, and I don't care about nothing that you talking about. I live my life for me. So I'm gonna pick no bro. I'm gonna pick no bro. She got my vote. Vote confirm. Is her right? Yeah, boom. We off this, we off this. Best boy, Boji off rip. If Boji ain't on this list, I will riot. I'm not lying to you. Senku, Senku is cool, but he's not Boji. Izuma, don't really care. This nigga's a boy, don't care. Boji, right? Ooh, Mikey. Ooh, tracking. Sheesh, how much time I got left? Sheesh. I, every time I look at Mikey, bro, I just see soulless eyes, bro. And then... I can't, I can't speak on it. I can't speak on it. Ah, man. Based off, based off the first season, Mikey's just cool. He's just a cool ass dude. Based off the first season, Dragon is just a cool ass solid nigga that you want in your corner. It's not enough for best boy for me. I'm gonna have to give it to Boji, bro. I want my little prince to win, bro. Watching this show is like watching your little niece, your nephew, your son, your daughter grow up, or your little cousin that you're cool with, your play cousin, whatever. It's like watching them grow up and then succeed in life. Like, ah, I remember when you was Jay High, when you was a little teeny bit, a little tight. Come on, man. And then ah, you just watch them grow up to be like successful kings and queens. And this is what, this is what Boji's literally doing. Bro, the show's called Bringing the Kings, bro. Come on. You just see, you seeing his growth and potential right now. We only 14 episodes into the season. Not even, not even 24 episodes in. Come on, bro. Boji gotta get Boji's best boy. Boji's best boy. We voting and we confirming. I didn't even need to explain that. I'm a whore. <laughs> I'm a whore. I'm a whore for Usama ranking. 86. Attack on Titans final season part one for best best anime of the year now. Jujutsu Kaisen, Second Core, Odd Taxi, Sunny Boy, Ranking the Kings. I never in my life heard of Sunny Boy. But Madhouse, Madhouse is cool. Madhouse is cool. They kind of fumbled with uh, One Punch, right? Because they did, they did the first season. They didn't do the second season. Whatever. Ranking the Kings, Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titans in my top three. Out of this three, I would say... Attack on Titan is third. I did a lot of theory crafting. And a lot of action happened in Attack on Titan, and I did a lot of theory crafting, and I wasn't sure if I was right until this season. So, so like if the, the part one, part one was cool, and I liked the different perspective that it gave us from the Molly. It's the world building in the show is great, right? And everything just connects. Matter of fact, Attack on Titan might be two. <laughs> Attack on Titan might be top two, and it might not be. It, not, it might not be two. But Attack on Titan, they did a lot of world building. They introduced some new characters. We got to see Marley, we got to see Eldians, we got to see uh, everybody's hatred for Gabby. I've never seen the whole community, the whole nation collectively hate this little bitch. <laughs> I've never seen a, I've never seen the nation collectively, the global, I've never seen a global uh, distaste for a character in my life. And Gabby, yeah, Gabby got that. And everybody was sad when, when Sasha passed. Everybody felt it when Connie was going through it. Everybody was shocked when Aaron was laughing, but he does that. He he has this thing where he laughs and cries at the same time because he always feels like he tries so hard and when he fails, it's just like, nigga, what else can I do? I'm trying to do everything here. What else can I do? And it just, it just, he just spirals, but he just spirals. Juice Kaisen, I'm not gonna lie, the second half was dope, but matter of fact, Juice Kaisen is third. Next year, not next year, whenever the second season come out, it's gonna be animated, yeah, I'm telling you right now. Second season, y'all not ready. It's gonna shake the internet. But right now, it's third. Attack on Titan and, and Usama Rankin. I just dropped a video today that Usama Rankin is my uh, my animated year. It's a masterpiece. I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, in 14 episodes, it has done for me, how much time I got left? It has done for me what Attack on Titans has done throughout its whole duration. And Attack on Titans is not finished, but Boji is also not finished. So Usama Rangan is not finished. I go on an emotional roller coaster with both shows, but I'm not gonna lie. Usama Rankin got it for me. <laughs> I love Mappa. I love Attack on Titans Final Season Part 1. But Rankin the King's got my vote, B. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. February 9th, that's when we find out who wins. I, I'll probably ruffle a couple feathers. Don't care. <laughs> this, is, this is my voting session. You got the rest of the day to vote. You got like less than seven hours to so go out there, get it done. If you want to see why I picked everything, then just watch the channel, bro. I got my Boji reactions. You can see me smiling to pressure. You got my Attack on Titan reactions, bro. I'm over here theory crafting, and they're coming. Y'all owe me subs too, by the way. Don't forget, I called that Falco was going to turn into the jaw. Give me my subs, right? I, you, you can see everything on the channel. Just go ahead and watch. Just go ahead and watch.